say to all of y'all. All of y'all. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together we, we are PM Artist Studio. Hello to all of you guys. Oh, we got a good crowd here. I'm gonna do the little poppy outy chat thing. Do remember that I am not gonna know that you are here unless you say hello in the chat. That's all you have to do, lurk away. We do not mind, but I would like to at least say hello. So let's do our hello, and I'm gonna try to remember a couple of things because we've quite like all kinds of things going on. Yes. We have Anne, Heather, Brad, Kate, Connie, Darcy, Dana, Fran, Jill Hoon, oh hello and welcome your new Kathy, Kylie, Liz, Marsha, Panka, Ricky, the Fiber Goddess, also known as Constance or Connie, Violet. We're so glad you guys are here. Um, as you come, come in, do let me know. Oh, I popped that out and then I put it back in. Um, sometimes it happens that way, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm, in the I'm chat. not touching that. Be sure to turn your chat over to live chat so you see everything that is going on. If you do want to participate, this is the live stream right now. But if you are watching the replay, you can at least read along um, if you are into it. Or sometimes I think some people just like to they kind of hang out in the chat in live, and I, you guys come yeah, back and watch. I, I'm so worried that. that I'll miss something when I'm typing because hey, I'm such a crapola typer. <laughs> You know, I, I I need all my facilities about me when I'm, you know, doing that kind of very detailed work. Yes. Okay, well, hope all is well, Kate. Um, all right, so, Heather, we are so happy that you have received your gel plate and brayer. That was from, um, now, I don't know if she wants me to say who it's from. It wasn't from us. No. I do know who it is from. I will, if she comes in here, we'll, we'll find out, I guess... If, uh, if it's okay to say or whatever. Um, you should be getting something else that is from PM Artist Studio. Well, good morning and welcome, Anthony Cody. And wow, what a way to make an entrance, Palsy Wowsy. Thanks, Anthony. We very much appreciate that. He's the Baron Maker. And he's now a Palsy Wowsy? I know. He's just coming in with a bang. Wow. <laughs> we very much. No kidding. Yeah, and thank you for posting a Makers. We very much appreciate that. Um, yes, and your skills are really kind of one of a kind. Yeah, they really are. You and don't have a lot of competition there. We're, we're very happy that you are connected there because we have lots of people that are very interested in the Barons. Um, what else did I want to say, too? Fran's back at home so we're very happy about all of that and how's Marsha's ankle um Maxine is Maxine ankle. yeah sorry I think Marsha is okay Marsha you okay oh, Leslie hey so glad you're here oh I know what it was um we have a new loverly Sandy Franklin I haven't seen her pop in but um we're so happy about that your print will be in your next order because that's how that sort of thing works um yeah the best way, the number one way you guys can help us out and support us is just subscribing to the channel. Free, easy, wonderful. We are so happy that you guys show up and just hang out with us. If you are interested in, in getting some savings on stencils, things of that nature, that's the mucky muck and the um, loverly level. Powsy wowsy is awesome. That just says, hey, you know, like you guys want to hang out and I want to use them emojis. We love the emojis. Absolutely. I don't know when we get new ones. Brad, can we add new mo emojis yet? If we acquired enough people? They only give us certain ones, or a certain amount at certain levels. That their YouTube business, anyway. Uh, All right, so what else? What other news? Oh, um, you know, we do have the July collab going. And this is going to be my contribution to that. Yes, I really have sort of started, but not really, you know, come to a concrete thing yet. She's, she's muddling about. I'm, muddle, and the, I'm, I'm making edibles. <laughs> and if we don't add them here, oh, we can addible them something but else. I, I'm going to show this no matter what I make. Oh my god. I, you know, when she did it, I was just like, oh lord, we'll have to hear that every single uh -huh. stream from now on. Yeah, I gel printed. And not only was it the very first time I gel printed, I did it with a laser transfer and I made it happen with a metallic so just you know all that watching led to some 
some doing. I'm gonna make sure that that's in the video no matter what. <laughs> On the, you know, when I do the process piece. There and I'll go. talk about it a little bit when I do the, you know, yeah. thing. Oh, I also got a haircut. Talk about I it had, a lot. It's kind of a squire looking thing right now. I, I don't know yet, but whatever. They stretched her out when they blow dried her. <laughs> Tell her don't let them do that. Oh, it yeah. messes with your, your curly locks. Okay. Now, um, so what's on the agenda today? Oh, sugar, sugar. What? I have um, the notes. Because we want it, I'll go down whenever we get to the gel printing point of things. Because, you know, we have a ton of you guys that oh, are yeah, new yeah. to us. And so we just forget that, you know, we're at this certain part of the journey. And that many of you are brand new. Or just starting out. Or, you know, figuring out new techniques and things. So we decided that we should probably do a little talk through at the very least. About some basic ways to get Just started gel plate printing yeah right? and now our friend Heather has her gel plate so I think this will be a perfect time I like that idea um, yeah there you go and then Anthony says all right yes thank you for having me and folks should know that I can make custom orders yes you can choose the wood you like and the stone for the inlay and the size there you I go. Mean, you know. So those of you that don't really know what we're talking about or know, you know, what Anthony's talking about, he is in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. That's our Facebook group. And if, and, and I'm sorry to interrupt no, you, but I have to do that. You know, when something's yeah, on my brain, it. I have to say it. Say it. Um, I think it would be really great if if somehow Anthony's, if you want to request a brayer as Baron. a uh, Baron on a wish list. Is there a wish list? Well, it's Etsy. I don't know if Etsy wish lists. I'm not over there enough. What but that, to say, I like, mean, what a fabulous, you know, gift for someone that... We're trying to run your business for you, Anthony. Yeah, sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> but I just, I just know, you know, if I didn't have two right now, I, I would definitely be. Yeah, and actually I do need to talk to you because, you know, we have Christmas and things coming around. But, anyways. Yes, and my thing about this is, is I don't know, Anthony, what the what the circumfer circumference or diameter of your barons are, but... He just said that he can make it whatever. He'll do custom. Well, this could be bigger. Yeah, that's what Patty because did. She, she asked for hers to be bigger. The base. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is, you know, you really, when you, if you make a ball with your hand and take it <laughs> off, this should really happen. You know, it should feel comfortable that it shouldn't be too big, it shouldn't be right. too small. Yeah. It, but I would definitely want a larger surface area on mine. Those of you who cover are, more ground. Well <laughs> cover more plate. The the thing about it is is when you're doing it, it 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 tips. Yeah. And I think if it were fatter, it wouldn't um, tip so much. Yeah, he just put up a couple of new ones yesterday. Now he Ooh, is going on vacation look. as of tomorrow, I believe, so I think, you know, get your orders in today. Careful what you ask for, Anthony. <laughs> we don't know all too well about that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and Anthony, what you should do is in any of your descriptions on your on your bigger ones, say, you know, like, this is Patty's size. <laughs> so that way people, because then they'll have a reference maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter unless you know Patty's hands. <laughs> I don't know. That, that could get into some things. But anyway, so if you haven't noticed already, here is Pete. Oh, well, I did I finish my announcements? I didn't really finish the announcements. Oh, sorry. So, yes, because I interrupted. July's creative, you know, the Makers Creative Collab. Again, more information can be found over there. Makers, if you aren't part of Makers, come join us. Answer the questions. A lot of you guys have been answering questions. I love it. Um, some of them really make me chuckle. <laughs> I love it when it makes me Entertainment chuckle. value is definitely... It is. Um, a plus. <laughs> you don't have to be too wordy, but, you know, just answer no. the questions. Uh, because you'll find the July, the Makers Creative Collab, we have our team YouTubers that some of, a few of, actually quite a few of them are here in the chat. Um, those of you that are, just say, hey, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber, whatever. Um, just so everybody kind of knows, Kali Koo's here, uh, Judy P is here, Darcy. Um, let's see here. Who else are some of our, our YouTubers that are here? Is Lisa here yet? 
She might be sleeping in. We let her do that. That's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you are, and then all of the, any maker, any of the makers people, team non-YouTubers, headed up by Mo and and this one over here. Don't ask her anything. She doesn't really know much. <laughs> She's there. I, I just a, know what I know, she just, and I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> And there's a lot of I don't know. <laughs> she is. So um, that is that information. And then, oh, we're doing the big giveaway. $100 giveaway. So if you want to do that, remember. What day is that on? Well, the giveaway doesn't matter. But we, oh, the actual giveaway will be the last Sunday. I posted the date. Again, the information. Use that featured area in the maker's mixed media art and artist Facebook group. Little featured area at the top, it even scrolls. I try to switch out and put the pertinent information towards the top there so it's pretty easy to access or just say, hey Mo and whomever and we'll tag you and get you to the right information. Yeah, if you and if you do tag me, I can send you where you need to go. What she'll do is come get me. Yeah. But that's fine. That, that's totally acceptable. Or I will just give your information to Mo or Ann in, in, in an <laughs> instant message. That's right. <laughs> that's right. All righty. Hello, Huta. So glad you're here. Oh, she's a non-YouTuber in the house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think that's it. That's all I got. What are you doing? I, want, I, I need that little twisty, rolly, or, you know, turny thing. Twisty, rolly, turny thing. You got, oh, it, you got it over there? The thing that... downstairs? The, the, I bet Izzy knows where it is. Yeah, the little Lady Susan thing. Oh, here, yes. And this... this. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wanted to say hello. So, hey, say hello. <laughs> what are you guys going to do today? Are you going to go shopping or something? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You ready to see? Yeah, see? There they go. <laughs> see, look. Look at the chat. They're very Thank excited. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And tell them we've been working on your head. Oh, yes. And I put your leftover papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bye, darling. Have fun. Be nice to Dad. Kiss, kiss. Bye. You gotta, gotta lean in. There you go. Love you, everybody. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's been asking for days. Aww. If she could come in. <laughs> so, there we go. So precious. Um, what thing? Oh, you want the spinny thing? I think it's up for here. Is this the thing you were talking about? Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. That was for you. See, side arm there. I can't remember which. I don't know that it matters. That's the way it goes. <laughs> I have to watch out because I, I've Do got you want me go top, top side? Do you want me to go camera? Ah, she keeps bumping the camera. Bumping the camera. Yeah, I want to pull this, pull this print, first of all, so I can get this particular plate. I mean, this is my 6x8, my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I want to pull this print. Is it? Are we topside? I can be. I was waiting for you to. Yeah, let yeah. me know on that. There we go. Okay, crack your edges. Don't forget to crack your edges. This is actually one that I had on the plate from Thursday. I think so. We just got kind of. We, we've sort of been enjoying a little bit of a downtime, which is nice. Your top light isn't on. I was like, all right, the lighting is a little different today. I don't know that it's bad, but you didn't turn your top light on up there. Oh, well, I can. I don't know where it is. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's just like, it's kind of dark over there. There we go. Is that better? It makes that better. much of a difference? That's it amazing. It really does. Okay, I think this is, look at this little squiddy stuff going on here. Fran? Oh, you want me to zoom in? I should zoom in, too. Look at that. I mean, isn't that awesome? I mean, this is like my favorite print for weeks. I love it. <laughs> is that your friend? I like it. Look at that. <laughs> I could really this is where I miss Carrie, like, you know, when she, she was in the chat, because, you know, she always got that reference. 
your friend. I don't know what it means. I, I know, I need to let you watch the show, but you'd probably just say it was stupid. <laughs> She's kind of mean that way. I've got things attaching. Oh, and look, I still have a little yeah, bit the, of uh, ampersand on there. Mm -hmm. It's some filmy stuff going on. Oh, that's all right. We like that. Oh, and I've got another one here. Oh, you should, I Judy said you had an eye in the middle of that. Oh, it would be cool. I to, know. Yeah. I did have an eye. All right, here's Mariah's. Here's her, here's her plate that she was using for her mm -hmm. transfers. But Look at how nice that came up. <laughs> it's not anything special because I was trying to just get up. Well, yeah, and you can, there's a little bit, yeah, you, you can, can see a little bit of, of the kind of goldy, bronzy, whatever she had on there. But see the ripply effect? That's what happens with that um, no, I, that was one, deco. That was one of your mixes. I oh. only used your mixes. Oh, well, and the the gold was the deco art. Yeah. But that purple business hmm. was... One so I one. used these plus, I think, number seven. Oh, yeah, because I'm seeing some iridescence here. Yeah. And that one very much has some iridescence. I think it does now. It, it not it didn't always. She's gone rogue from the you know paint guy. Mm. <laughs> Hello, oh, Trish. Always a possibility. Oh yeah. I told her that. That's my family calls me that. Well, we got a Trish. A Trish. I know, but there's a Trish in the chat. I now. know. Okay. I told her that. <laughs> what is that that you have? What? What's that? I don't really know. I found it. I know it's old because it's that one it's kind of... It's mylar. Yeah. And it's stompy rocks, but a very, very early, terrible version of it. I know, but it's 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 rustic and it's kind of goopy oh God, looking. Here and we I, go. I love it. Well, we'll and have it in the shop this next week. <laughs> here's... Here, I gotta show you this one because I love this. And I, I don't... She wasn't doing what I wanted her to do. So, you know, I had to I had to get some I had to take over. She's been kinda of grumpy yesterday. But Brad created this yes. from Stompy Rocks. N well or bits or I don't know. Yeah. So we had this we have the strip. Is this a, is this in strippers? <laughs> no, it's not a stripper, not yet. I mean we could make a little strip of it. Do we have strippers of 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 rocks? I, I mean, technically, it, it sort of was. It's just a, it's a fat one. It's a little fat stripper. <laughs> they exist. Well, you know, we can't all be twiggy. That's right. Girls for everybody. I, I'm, for, I'm 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 more into <laughs> Rubens than I am Modigliani. <laughs> Give me a fat Maybe. woman any day. Anyway. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you're taking a drawing class, fat people are a lot e more fun to draw than. You know the ones that the twiggy ones have their skin stretched tightly over their bones. Maybe it's a good. They should start out with the the skinny ones and move to the fatter ones. No, I think it's the other <clears throat> other way around. You've got a lot more interesting, you know, contours to. But I know, but doesn't that require a little drawing. bit more skill set? Because you got to shadow things. You got to. Well, it's just you, know, it's you just, just start out with stick figures. <laughs> no kidding. You know, put a round head on it. <laughs> Okay, wow, yeah, a little commentary there on uh -huh. body styles. Hi, Gail, so glad you're here. Okay, well, I'm going to set this over Lovers. here, and hopefully I'm going to set it over here without bonking the camera, because Mariah's always on my case. Now, I don't know if this is really the best. Can you see her? <laughs> Violet says she really enjoys being here for our conversation. Combo is what brings you. Yeah. Uh, yes. And the art's what keeps you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can go, you know, I can... Nah, I, you know, that was not such a good idea. But uh, I do not want to lose this because I am definitely going to do some rubbings with that. Well, put those all to the side. All right. Yeah. All right. I want to show you... Oh, I'm going to back out. So, man, we are yeah. all zoomed up. Well, got to be go. careful because I've already had to fix her nose once. We don't want her to do a nose dot. Oh, what look at that. What happened to her neck? Huh? Oh, that's the back of her neck. Does she that's have... That's the back of her neck. No, I, I trimmed her. Okay, so this was went way over the edge. It went like this. So I took my carpet knife. <laughs> this is very old. 
And actually, I think it's from a kitchen knife that's been altered or whatever, but it's a sharp booger. And trimmed all this off, and I left this one spot open here because I wanted it to match up to the lid. Oh, wonderful. Thing. And this time, I actually glued the lid on. Oh. With enough glue on there that it actually seeped out and run down the... So I've got it. Why did you do that? Because I don't want it coming loose. Well, I mean, were you worried about that with the others? Well, I wasn't, but I had to use a lot of tape to, to put it, get it on there. Oh, so it wasn't just scooting about as you're working on it? Is yeah. That kind of the, okay. Yeah. Okay. They're really important. Who knew? I mean, <laughs> seriously, there's, there's a lot of technical stuff going on here. I'm still very interested how you're going to get rid of the, the Kirkland brandy <laughs> on the side there. Okay. Well, you know. I have a plan. All right. And it's going to involve texture paste and tissue paper. I was just going to actually just directly go on there. But Mara had a point. Because we talked about this last night for a bit. And the reason I'm not going to do that... And, but I might in certain spots, just, mm -hmm. you know, if I, I have something. But I, the texture paste is going to take care of all these little things here. I thought long and hard about, you know, what kind of things I wanted to go on here. And one of my earlier thoughts was, um, Izzy actually broke one of these, and then we cut these because she had a fit. Oh. She wanted her gold one back. She, she's a lot like, she's at that phase now. It's like, she could care less about the toy until somebody else has it. Then yeah. it now has new value. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to say that, you know, these kind of things, and these are just beads from the... Parade. St. Patrick's Day Parade, I think. Yeah. But I think it was, like, close enough to Mardi Gras that we were getting a little over... I was going to take these and make a circle around here and sort of do that. But then I thought, I don't like that. That's too formal. And I don't, I want this to be very grungy and even almost, um, you need some broken graffiti, sad beads. <laughs> graffiti, um, stuff on here. So the lower part, I'm going to make it look more like rocks rock and a wall. Oh, who just says, now what about using the jar for storage? So you very well could, like, just make the head a topper and yeah. be able to unscrew it. So, now that's going to add a little, you know, you're going to have to really... I like the idea. I think that I do like the idea. And Oh, you could hide things in it. That's where you could keep your money. It could, you, <laughs> you, you could do that. It's like the cutout space in a book, you know? Absolutely. A little hidey hole for stuff. Um, yeah. I, now, I, here's one of the things that you want to kind of keep in mind with that is that, you know, if you do want to do that, you are going to want to put some heavy things in in the jar. <laughs> That's why we put the base on it. Because, you know, it, it's... It's going to be wobbly. Yeah. yeah if you wanted to store your legumes in here, that would be good. Legumes. Beans. Beans. Peas. Rice, um, I don't know, your what do you coins. Call it? Like I mean, you could even make it into a piggy bank thing. Yeah, your dry goods. Yeah, whatever. In Texas, you know, we have... Weevils. Weevils. <laughs> Not the careful. kind that wobble, but... Yeah, weevils. <laughs> weevils, the kind that create little bugs. Now, I uh, oh, I wish Chris... She was supposed to be here. I don't know if she's going to be here or not. But um, she made these most wonderful, like, on small scale, she bought those... Um, like from the dollar store, the dinosaur, the plastic dinosaurs, and then she glued them to lid tops. Super cute. So, you know, kind of similar thing. Smaller scale. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, now here's the other thing that I, I was thinking about, and I don't think I'm going to do it on this one just because I really want to focus on my patterns, not stuff. I really would like for this head to be a jewelry receptacle. So I would have like maybe arms coming out here so I could put bracelets there. <laughs> like little tiny weird arms, baby arms with lots of bracelets. You think you could talk and this I into thought about making her, you know, one of those kind of collars that come up here. So it was sort of like a dish-like thing all the way oh, around. Oh, I love that. Very um, 
uh, what is it, Queen Elizabeth? The, you know, the... Oh, yeah. The floofy, the... I'm sure there's a name for that. The ruched... I bet Anne knows. ...collars Anne. that Anne. they have. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that on her. I just, I, I want, I, I have this idea and that's, that's what I want to do. And I don't want to. So you're going to put baby arms on it or not? No, I'm not. Okay. But like it was the, an idea. I like the thought of it. Uh, it was an idea. That's but you can see here, cutting this off so it meets this makes it look less like this is a nut jar from Costco. And more oh, like a that's part a, of the pedestal. Oh, okay. It's an Elizabethan collar is what Gail Elizabethan, says. Elizabethan, yes. And then um, Anne says, pad a part of it to use in store pens. Oh. Maybe like in the back you could kind of give her a little thing and then put we could put some padding or, I don't know, the next head. We plan on doing more heads. Like we've got this kind of becoming our thing or her thing. I, I really, and I you notice her nose has been... And that's from a yogurt, the, the metal part on the yogurt. Uh, the reason it's really good is because it's a nice weight. It's a little mm -hmm. heavier than your normal heavy-duty aluminum. Plus, it's textured. Uh -huh. So, it's, it sticks. It's it's easier to um Oh, it's move called about. a rough. A rough. Yes. Yes. Fiona says it's called a rough. And Ann says, or, or Kylie says, yes, rough. <laughs> yeah, not like... Are you FF? Oh, and here Brad's yelling at me. <laughs> Why not make hooks on the head and hang your jewelry off it like air? I know. I, I did think about that. Well, they get kind of like, really, you would only <laughs> want like one that went around yeah, this because way because the, they get tangled. And the, the, the bracelets um, take up room. She needs a bigger head. Yeah, I need a bigger head. She really needs a mannequin that, you know, has her arms out like, you know. I don't know where, where I would put that. And again, that. we need a bigger house. <laughs> so it's it's kind of one of these domino effects. What I would think. be great is if we could find an old department store. <laughs> and yeah, move and in they there. left all their stuff there. They left their mannequins and things. That would be great. <laughs> we'll take it all. We will. All right. <laughs> don't everybody found their pebble <laughs> for burnishing? Oh, and um, quite a few people were saying, so Dana has her oil pastels. I think Darcy has some arriving, I think is. I'll tell uh, you what, GDP. I think that yeah. Mariah and I were talking about what essential materials, and I would put oil pastels right up there. as You can just do so many things with them. And I mean, you can even go in with the specialty ones, which, um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some quick rubbings here. <laughs> And I'm going to... Um, Brad is also yelling, the one thing that comes in, five things need to go out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He has that rule, but we don't always abide by it. We have to smuggle things in. We sneak them in. We have to. <laughs> the contraband. <yeah. laughs> oh, that is heavy, and I just absolutely love it. Okay, so, I want to talk about this, but I really need a... Oh, Kylie Koo, yes, she loves oil pastels. Yes, because you can use them on top of the acrylics, and so that's kind of what we, what P was uh, yeah. doing and the I, other day. I've got some that I did that too, and, we're, and then we're going to talk about some. Well, <laughs> that really didn't help, did it? <laughs> Part of it. Part of it. Okay, this is Puzzle, and I couldn't tell you which generation of Puzzle it is. Well, no, that's the 5x7. That, that's, that's the Puzzle. Is it the one that's we in, have now? That's the main stencil in the shop. Now, remember, Puzzle has now become one of the strippers. And we're working on kind of what's next, next as far as strippers are concerned. There have been some suggestions. You know, if there is something you guys want, you know you can always tell us. And we will kind of try to put it on the list and see if it happens. Um, yeah, and we might even have some stuff that's kind of in the works that would suffice. Or maybe we have something because um, I can't remember who it was that asked about the map thing and then I suggested Ripley Railroads because it is it has a very mappy feel to it. And actually this came from the dinosaur the dinosaur stomp. Yeah that is a very early version. Yeah. I had this um, it was Izzy I made her a dinosaur out of out of and some of you have already heard this story made her a dinosaur out of a kneaded eraser. 
And she played with it for a while and everything, and then I just found it, I don't know, in some of her stuff, and it was all mucked about. So I just took it, did it like this, and rolled it up. And that's what happened, is it had this. That, that's the pattern. That's the pattern. That's how that's created. Yeah, okay. All right, so. So it was got, captured in time. Yeah. I've got three different, three different scales of things going on here. And you might think you don't need that. And, and sometimes you really don't. But I don't want any one thing to be dominant. I want it to be more of a, a rocky looking thing. Where it's kind of morphing into one thing to the next. And yeah. there isn't just a... I want, ah! Yeah. I, don't, I want it just to look... And I'm going to try to do that with my... Um, Ooh. With my oil pastels. Over the top of that, I am then going to um, go ahead and do the uh, texture paste. Thank you, God. It's just not I enough have, coffee yet. Yeah, I haven't. I, We've kind of had some late nights. I'm going to read some chat real quick, though. Oh, okay, So you good. can kind of think about some things for a second. Yeah. Uh, Violet put a link to an Elizabethan ruff that you can order on Amazon. I'll have to look at that. I'm very interested in that, actually. Izzy would love it. <laughs> oh, she would. <laughs> yes, she would. Um, and, oh, she no would. no worries, Kylie. I was just saying that, you know, we had done the, you know, that that's kind of been the process that P was working on the last couple of streams is doing the frottage over the gel printing. And then hopefully today, not hopefully, we are going to get to that today. As many of you have requested it, doing the gel printing now over frottage. Yeah. You know, they've been switching back and forth. And then, let's see. Oh, Colleen was the map lady. <laughs> was the Ripley Railroad good or should we do... I, I kind of like that whole doing something more map-like, like with the little... Well, and maybe even take an actual city. We could do Dallas or... I would, I would What's like... What's an interesting... Who... What's an As interesting, interesting streets yes, to it. City. It's more organic rather than, you know, the Romans made everything straight. Did they? Yeah, they were pretty What much. about Colosseums? How about who? <laughs> Colosseums. Oh, yeah. I thought you said jalapenos. I was going, she's on I'm, trees. I'm, I'm not into, <laughs> I, I'm not aware of that, but you know, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that that depends on who you are, Violet. Says actually, it wouldn't be difficult to sew layer upon layer of lace strips to fabric base. <laughs> well, yeah, that is provided you have a sewing machine yeah, and don't. you can see to. We don't have that. Hey, did y'all know I have an appointment to get my eyes oh. eyes redone? Mm -hmm. Next Monday, not this, not tomorrow, but the next one. Yeah. Okay, so okay. this is this is the one that I showed you the pieces in part, and I actually glued it down. But I've got some more back over here that you can see in just a minute. Okay, so there's a first layer. Now, did you talk about that? Those are the pieces and parts. Now, some of you guys, remember, I most likely will include the pieces and parts and the bits of the stencils when you purchase them. If they are small ones, you need to let me know, because most of the time we trash those. Or send them into the bin of just little bits that we're that trying we're to figure out what to do with. Eventually going to use a coffee. Some of them get really torn up because we have to, you know, for those more, pre you know, precise stencils, they've got to be on really sticky mats, which means that those little bits don't come off very well. They're, you know, pretty much shred at that point. But we're trying to figure that out, too. Hey, Devin, and hey, Janet, and I, I think I said hello earlier, but. And for those of you that are coming in, we very much appreciate the thumbsy upsies lets people know, because we're still pretty early here in the stream. Um, it's very helpful letting people know that something cool's happening. You're here, and they should be, too. Helps on the replays, because it just makes it all expand <laughs> the reach. Expand the reach. I don't like that very much. It's not very exciting. It isn't. Just not showing up. Oh, Ooh, look there, you there go. we go. Now that's some stuff. Mm -hmm. But can you see how you can just make this do what really whatever that you want it to do? Hi, Sandra. So even when I 
do go over the top of this with the texture paste, I'm going to have things in between it, the texture paste. Mm -hmm. And this will take up that. I want it darker than lighter. Well, here's something that I think is going to be kind of interesting. Because remember when we were doing our experiments with texture pastes and even just mediums and things of that nature, some yeah. of the color will leach up. Oh, and especially on this, yeah, this black, the black, black stuff is, is, yeah. And I'm thinking even some of the color, perhaps, from the oil pastels may. Not a lot, but I think some. So that shall be interesting as well. Interesting as well. Tambien. Tambien. And I'm really kind of light in this. Kylie says you're looking fabulous already. And I, I, yeah, the the black tissue is definitely going to do some, some Just make sure something. that you're on your, on the stencil. On the stencil. That's always a, a good thing. Hey, Misty. So glad you're here. I really kind of like this rusty stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a good color. Those of you that ordered the oil pastels, did you get the cray paws or did you go with something different or? They need to let us know because yeah. um, I'm getting ready to order some more. And it, it's really, I, I would like for them to have open stock. I always use up all of the white and the lighter colors because those are the ones that you blend with. And Izzy, well, I'll tell you what, she's a super blender. She just blends the crud out of things. P gave her the round ones, which I think was a, sort of a terrible idea because now I keep finding them on the floor. Because, you know. All right, now, we, this is this over here, you can see this is Puzzle. So now we're going to go back again up with another color with our, our bigger, okay, Brenda. bigger pattern. Oh, they're saying good luck with your eye procedure, too. Uh, Thank you. I, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive. I didn't have such a good experience the last time I did this. Oh, Brenda says she loves the rubbing. She thought that she was the only one doing this. Haven't seen anyone else doing it. We'll see, because we're cool kids, Brenda. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hang with us. Because <laughs> we say I, so. I think you can start to see the benefits of having the different sizes to work. Oh, Darcy from. said she got the 50 pack. Because oh. it comes with more neutral colors. Well, dead gum, that's a good thing to know. Yes. Because the neutral colors really are... They go quick. Yeah. The the whites, the blacks, the... Well, the black, I really love that because... And I've got some plans for that. All right, Fran. And this is looking kind of membrane-y, but oh, I Oh, yes, don't... and then I think Susan said, yes, it looks like skin cells under a microscope. But I'm hoping by the time I get through with it, it's going to be more rocky feeling. I love it. I don't know. Let's take a little different color here and see. Oh, it. I don't know about that. I was happy until you did that. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> Are you going to fix it? Well, am I going to fix it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to take some red and put Puzzle down. Izzy's little fingers have been kind of, because she's also been doing this here lately. And half the time, she's, she's got this thing on her fingernail, and we don't know if it's actually something or if it's just oil pastel. Red oil pastel. But she pastel. likes to show it to us and tell us that she thinks it's something. Yes, she injured herself. <laughs> she's very dramatic. <laughs> she really likes doing rubbings, and I, I have some back over here that she did that I thought were... Yeah, yeah she, pretty cute. Hey, she even did one for me, for my little project. I'll show it to you. Okay, so even if you get a color on there that you're not crazy about, just use your color wheel. Blend. And blend. And you can take white, and I haven't used white yet. I, I really, I like the cream colors. And you just keep moving your 
Oh, the texture plates for, uh, Brenda's saying that the texture plates for polymer clay work well, too. Oh, yeah. I want to learn, I, I, I want to know how they make those, because we would like to turn some of our designs into some of those. More rubbery matte things, I think. Aren't they more rubbery, or are they hard? I guess they're hard. They're like plates. Yeah. I, I have some, I, I used to get texture plates to use with my elementary school students well, to I do rubbings with. But the ones that you have are, are a little bit more like um, formed plastic. Is that? Mm -hmm. Like mat, you know, like the Halloween masks kids used to wear. I don't know if they really do that anymore. But it's that same process mm -hmm. of yeah. the vacuum formed. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, vacuum formed. And, you know, we are memory keepers had a, they, they were, they had a product maybe three years or so ago that you a small version of a vacuum thing. I don't know if it did very well. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I think we could utilize that for... No worries, Lisa. Glad you're here. Oh, and Sharon. Hey, Sharon. How are you doing? You gotta remember it to move your oh darcy says that her mom had oil pastels when they were kids and that was the one medium she remembers using the most as a kid besides crayons and play-doh oh and we're some of the we've got some of the air dry clay coming i have some ideas about it as well because it now stays that, kind of spongy that would be fabulous for making details on your heads i think so like if we could roll some of that out and then like almost you know like the special effects people the type of stuff that they do and if we could roll it out thin enough and, and use the stencils with it because it also stays sort of foamy like it doesn't dry hard or at least it hasn't so far and it colors is he used markers on it of course she did you know i have ideas about these things all righty <laughs> well now you can see what's going on here and um, <coughs> talked about all those stencil opportunities and that sort of thing. And here's a good piece of paper. We're not going to waste that. Put that back over there. Oh. Sharon's using her air dry clay with, with our designs for her, her collab project. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Have you oh. been in my brain, Sharon? <laughs> or maybe I've been in yours. You've been sending me. All right, so now the next stage of this is fixing. Hello, Nisi. Fixing the. Um, oh, hey, Patty. I was wondering where you've been. She's driving back from Ocean City. Oh, Dave is driving. She's not. That's good. Oh, Ocean City. But she's not driving. She's riding. What is? Where is Ocean City? I don't know what that is. I don't know. Anymore. Inquiring minds want to know, Patty. Let us know. <laughs> Was it fun? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Did Business you win any pleasure. money? Did you win any money? It sounds like a place you could win money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I had this on, and I'm hoping it's... I need this plate. Yeah, I think it is. Look, you can see the oil. Oh, yeah. Um, Kelly Cameron, yes, we have tried... Um, well, not with the oil pastels. Um, with the texture plates. We, we have quite a good collection of them. My friend Christy sent us some. And I really enjoyed using those when we first started doing a lot of this. But we try to keep to our own designs. Number one, because, you know, copyright and whatnot. Because I think with some of those texture plates, you got to be careful. Not that we sell any of our actual art, but we might. Someday. <laughs> Somebody comes to us right price we can be bought we can be I'm just going along here and flicking with my finger because Maryland oh. Ocean City Maryland yeah I love the embossed papers and as long as I can tear them up and kind of collage them together I have remember those birthday cards and stuff that I created I really love those I just I just put this pool layer down this morning, so I'm kind of having to 
you know, the edges don't dry as quickly as everything else, and they got kind of they were heavy duty. But look at that! Isn't that a beauty? Oh, and Patty, um, Aunt, uh, Anthony Cody was here earlier. I don't know if he's still here watching, but the Baron guy. We told him to um, be sure that in his descriptions on Etsy to say, you know, if it was Patty size or not, because <laughs> they were asking. I, I, re I requested a little larger base. The knob is good, but this part, I think, needs to be. I think you could use a little bit bigger knob, because how, how you kind of pull your hand in, you know, that it would give you a little bit more ergonomical. Sure that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thought. It's a thought. We keep freezing. <laughs> it's not good for conversation. Okay. <laughs> Getting rid of the oil pastel, so we don't have room for a lot of stuff here. All right. Now, I do want to talk about this very quickly, and I'm glad I, I sort of started to move that. Put the plate away for a second. Go back to the head. And hopefully, yes, it is. Here's my glue mixture. When you get ready to start gluing, do make sure that your tape's all down. Right? Everybody understands that. That's why you need the pebble. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and do a layer of the paper towels is because I can start getting rid of some of this stuff, the, the, the writing that I don't want on there, the little denty. Yeah. denty things that I don't want to be I want them to so when you're at the store and you're choosing your nuts snack mix chocolates whatever do Look inspect yeah. yeah do inspect the, I have that one that you know great. That, that it's like this so those were the those were the organic suckers that there after a while is he was like mm -mm, no these are not yeah, they, she's just don't I don't want the flat ones trying to be parenting and good and all that. Yeah. But they had a most awesome because this was during like, you know, remember COVID times and whatnot. So, like, we didn't want her going to the store but we like to give her a little treat and they were organic and I felt like that was a good compromise to other things. And so I bought the whole thing of them. And it's a fantastic container. That was the who, who who's Who's it? What's it? I don't know. What's her name? That wasn't Kierkegaard, what is it? Oh yeah, it was. It was Kierkegaard. It's base. Hmm. Love that, Mariah. Ooh, you did that just this morning. That was the purple that was left over from the last stream. Yeah. And I think it was Sandy, I believe, who was asking about how you get that halo effect. So that should be something that we try to maybe talk to today, perhaps. Oh, in the you mean on that that other one over there? Uh, you know, I, I I would like to say that I I can recre recreate that at will, but it really is just a. Well, and the funny thing is, is that happens quite a bit with the thing. Like there, I think what it is, it comes down to there's enough open space that the paint pushes in well, there and collects around the stencil. Remember when? Remember when I did the um, posies, pansies? Uh, what did you mean, Mariah? Air dry clay stays spongy. Mine doesn't. It's more like plaster. What brand have you ordered? Okay, so when we were on the cruise, Izzy was gifted at the you know kids camp. A couple packets of the Crayola air dry now I, I don't I mean she ha Fran has more humidity than we do but it's still spongy and she 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 made it into these cute little she called them people and she used her marker and everything left them overnight she came back the next day and decided she didn't like that she wanted to make it, them into a cup and she still did could do it but now, it's pretty well said. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But it's still spongy. It's still slightly, but I don't think it's going to re reform. No, not at properties. this point. But I, I'm thinking, though, if it stays spongy, we could possibly use it as a stamp. 
That's my thought. I'm oh. giving away my things because you, you're drilling me, lady. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Brenda says she thinks the Crayola is spongy. So yeah, get. <laughs> yeah. Get the kids stuff. Get the yeah. Don't get the fancy <laughs> stuff. Get the, don't get the professional stuff. Yeah, that probably dries rock hard. <laughs> And you definitely don't want the greasy stuff. No, that was what the P was so excited about. She's like, this stuff is wonderful. What I, is it? <laughs> I love it. And, you know, we kept seeing that people were using the air dry stuff. And we're like, we don't know what that is. What? We, like, we need a new thing to mess with. Me. But we may need this. I got ideas, like I said. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to, and I don't really know that I need to clean this up. But I don't want to tear my tissue that I've worked very hard on. Oh, Kelly's, Kelly Cameron, she uses the one the one in a black package. She forgets the name right now, but it dries hard. All right, so there you go. Yeah, I think so. The, the Crayola one gets a little crumbly, even though it's spongy. But I'm thinking that if you rolled it out properly, because I think one of the reasons that it gets crumbly is it's kind of like creating phyllo dough, right? you know, with the butter in between. I think if you have air pockets in between it and you haven't properly rolled it out. These are thoughts I have. Yeah. I, I, she knows nothing about I, I cannot. This. I cannot address that because I, I haven't personally yeah. done it. I, I know how to get paint off of a gel plate though. Oh, paper clay. Hello, Estella. Did I say hello? Glad you're here. Oh, okay. thanks. Kelly said my hair looks cute. Oh. I did get it cut. It's a little bit um, squire-ish, but that's okay. I really just told her I just need these dead ends off because it, it was just getting kind of gnarly. And she fixed my bangs. <laughs> okay, good deal. All right, so I don't really want to change anything about this I just want to get it so that I can put some stuff on it and it's gonna stay there I don't want it shiny paper clay that's the professional one that gets hard that has been established now in the chat hey I like that stuff because it's moldable I have I've not used that but I have made it um, just using bathroom tissue and glue oh. to you know the, one of my one of those other heads and says it takes about two weeks for the Crayola stuff oh to harden yeah, up yeah so we're about coming to that I, I put it up on a shelf I haven't really I haven't squeezed it lately okay this is just plain old acrylic matte medium gel Okay, what are we doing? Sorry. Uh, we're setting, we... we're setting, we're making the oil pastels so that they're not goopy. Okay. Yeah, many people were asking about that, like how, how is it that you're going to uh, seal them? That This is sealing them. This is sealing them. I mean, this isn't the only way that you do it. You can actually put it on there. And if you don't mind that it, it's going to have a bit of as you're brushing it on, you're going to get swipes with the oil pastel. That's just what it does. Mm -hmm. Now, and some of it's probably going to leave back on the plate, too, right now. Right? I don't know. It may. I'm pretty sure it will. Or it's going to create sort of a um, transfer type situation. Yeah. It, it, it really is. And because it's clear, I mean, no, I don't. Hello, Lynn. Glad you're here. Yeah. Uh, can you see that? It's kind of filmy. Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to do some I'm of them with color? You're, you're going to put color over some of those ones, right? Yeah, okay. I, I just wanted to do it with that. Save Clear here. so that you know, you know, okay. The other one that is really good and it's really fast and I know that, you know, it's going to work almost every time. That's not a, uh, worth saving. Is this stuff. Oh, I, I can't do it either, Heather. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. If you don't have that, you need it. And the reason I'm using it is because it's transparent enough that it's really not going to 
muss about with a lot of my I think you're still going to be able to see everything that is on there. Yeah. The designs that I did with my oil pastel. And the only thing I do not like about this mm -hmm. black tissue is... It's not wet strength, so it, it's... You have to be very... It's dainty. Careful. And don't leave it on there a long period of time. Because it can't handle the pull. No. This is, the black tissue paper is not for dry pulls. But now look, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, kind of looks like dragon skin or something. Well, I may change my mind on that. Yeah? I, I, you know, it's... I try to get away from using the same color all the time, but I, I swear to God, I just, I can't do it. I just always end up back at the same place. Same color? Same color. Yeah, she can't do rainbow. I, I, I didn't expect that to last very long. If you want rainbow, you come here. <laughs> you know I'm right. Yeah, you are. Okay. Well, I've, I want to get this up because I think this is kind of some nice stuff here. And, uh, oh, Kathy says American champagne gold can be put on in a very thin layer and do the same thing. Mm. It's uh, neutral in tone, but glitters. Oh, we like yeah, that. I see. I, I'm not. I'm not really up for the glitter right now. I want it to be kind of just. I don't mind if it has a bit of shine to it. I really don't. I, I, I think that that's just going to be perfectly, perfectly acceptable. This is the most fabulous purple that she really needs to make more of. Yeah. That I, I just, I really, I love it. Oh, shadow with the old school stompy rock. Ha <laughs> ha. That is going to be simply and <laughs> We've got some flowers here. I don't really think they're going to show well, up. Well, remember, Judy, that this is for um, collage. So what happens is, number one, the paint is going to help seal it in. Oh, you got, yeah, you got some cool stuff happening there. Um, partially. It doesn't always cover it fully. And then the pieces are going to be torn up, and then they are going to be mod podged on. So, that, um, that whole thing. Because she says one should never use acrylic over oil. But, you know, in this case, it tends to actually turn out pretty good. Yeah. I'm still, uh, yeah, the dark I'm still going to try to pull this with... Oh, Jaguar-like, yes with um and I'm, I'm going to do some rubbings over that too but i'm going to let it dry here for a sec Ooh, i like that that's doing some interesting things <laughs> kind of mixing and gooping mixing and gooping <laughs> we like that <laughs> Okay. Now that was an absolutely perfect. I couldn't have, and isn't that a gorgeous color? Oh my yeah. gosh! I just. I call that. That's like a it's sort of a dirty purple. It's not move. No. I hate that. And I think it's, it's going to be a wonderful color. Uh, Lynn, some of these are going to end up on the head. She still hasn't decided. She really wanted to make yeah. it more like pop arty, but she, she can't. That is not a color scheme she typically... Okay. That This is going to have to set a spell. And it's carnival tissue. Carnival tissue. Carnival tissue paper, so I know I can... Um, pull that. Pull that. Aubergine. Yes! Eggplant. Aubergine. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, now we're back to, I've got all of these papers that have s some stuff on them, like this this one right here. 
And the reason I tore them in two was because I want to get all of the edges, even the white part. So I'm going to probably mostly be using this plate and I'm hoping I can just keep pulling on it. It's really kind of hard because the, the oil pastels is going to leave residue. Yeah. And so every now and then you're just gonna have to stop the process and do a, a, a dry pull, a, a clearing plate pull. Boy, um, okay. Still want to stay within my range of, and I'm using this Indian yellow hue. I like it. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of red to it, and I'm hoping it's going to keep the blue from just becoming a really pukey. Pukey. Pukey green. I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. I hope. We all hope for that. Yes, we all hope for that. <laughs> Frogs are great, but it's only in the water. Well, or, you know, I mean, we just did the jungle one. <laughs> hey, Carrie? Oh, I know. Catching up is tricky business, man. We know. Glad you made it back safe, though. No, I have been enjoying it here. You should have seen the chocolate. chocolate. You should have seen Izzy's eyes when she uh, opened, opened the box. She said, a whole box of chocolate. Yeah, she didn't know about it because if she knows about things, then she asks to know about it. But anyway, she and I have been enjoying the milk mm -hmm. chocolate. We're saving the dark chocolate for Mariah. I think that was the point. He'd been listening. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. got a bit of froggy there. But I think it's still okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's a dark frog. Dark frog. Not Kermit. Yeah. You have some you actually have some image transfer there. Yeah, that's what what happens once in a while. That 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 do happen. Okay, we want to keep it transparent. So I'm going to come over here to my trans... Ooh, that's not transparent. See, he listened to preferences. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want that. Okay, let's try. All else fails. Use a little lavender. Now, that's the really light one. I know. I don't that. care. I, I don't really even want it to be lavender. I just want it to seal the stuff that's on there. Time I roll this out, you're not even going to be able to tell that it's lavender. But it's still going to have a little slight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the heads are just, you know, something fun to collage on. Because we're not really book collagers. Yeah, um, I, I do a collage now and again. Accidentally, usually. And uh, it's usually to augment some <laughs> yeah. other thing that I've screwed up. It's, it's just for cover-up purposes. <laughs> yeah. It's creative problem and solving. I'm, I'm just I'm just using my other Hi, thing here. Is that our Christie? It is our Christie from Georgia. Uh huh. Well, did much come off of there or anything? Oh, yeah. A little bit? You can look at the white parts. And it, it really, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm, I, I kind of like it the way it is. So I'll just put that over there. We're getting some buildup on our plate here. Not to worry about that. I'm not going to make that... Oh, pretty tootie. Oh! Oh, Carrie started finishing, uh, started filming his collage head this morning. Give him a couple weeks and it'll be ready to launch. We're very excited. They're fun decor things. If you have hats, they're fantastic for that. <laughs> Got cool hats, you know, that you want to like kind of sort of display about. Yeah, next to your umbrella stand. Oh, yeah. That sort of thing. 
If you have a collection of tiaras. Hey, and you can also stick your 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 pins in it. Yeah. Because remember, it's foam. And even though that you have. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, so Caddy says that looks great. So it's sealed now, the pastel. More yes. so than it was. Please keep in mind. There may be little parts that didn't catch. Or but for the most part, I would say I am I'm comfortable saying yes. But yes. ultimately when it gets sealed is when it gets collaged onto the head. Or collaged down wherever you're gonna put it. Yes. And be careful with that because if it is still movable, um, don't go heavy with your brush because it'll spread that oil pastel out. Yeah, well. Bye, Trish. Oh, here we go. I thought I... <laughs> Francis for Mr. Ugly is now too big, too big headed for any of her hats. <laughs> well, you might have to make him into a pen holder. Yeah. I have so much mucky muck out here that I don't think I'm going to be able to get much of a... Sharon's ready for you to pull that. What? <laughs> What's down on the plate? <laughs> Cause you, yeah, here in a second, she will. Cause oh, you mean the one back? No, your plate yonder? right now. What you got going on there? You've, you've got a lot building up there. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes. I do. For fact, I have a lot building up there. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, Chrissy says she found some people that decorated some foam heads and then they donate them to the cancer patients that were getting wigs. Oh. Well, there you go. Now you know, because you can, can you see where it's still kind of shiny and I mean I I need to I need to get one that's dry so I can show you I can rub on it and yeah otherwise you're just rubbing paint and yeah okay this one we did a while ago there's nothing rubbing off there good coating yeah good coating oh I still have crud on my hands so that really wasn't all that that was not fully informative. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sure. Take our word for it. All right. I love this. I'm going to use some of this special mix of mine that has little bits of blacky dotty stuff in it that we never did really figure out what exactly it was. We thought it might be um, the, um, oh, what is that stuff? Mariah's messed me up because she calls it something else. Oh, graphite. carbonite. Yeah, the micaceous iron oxide. No, that's different. That No, the carbonite I, is the one, the Amsterdam one. Yeah, okay. micaceous is micaceous. Yeah, I think that that's what's in here creating mm. these little black dots, which is really quite wonderful. Yes, we have discussed this before. I mean, I just... Hello, Stitching. So glad you're here. I mean, look at that. Could you, like, not... I mean, I just think, and this was just a total. See, Darcy gets. I got it all on my thumb. Oh, well. what, what, what's happening to you? Over there. Came down on me from above. What's in? Yeah, what's the mixture of the lavender? <laughs> that's a good question. That is a good question. Does it have a number on it? No. No. Okay, so that's one. It was some stuff that was in the bottom of a pot. Just a little tiny film of this kind of gray stuff that's on the lid. Let me show you. See? That stuff there. And I think maybe it was when I was trying to do uh, an experiment with um, making a... Uh, tar a gel. Paste. No, I think this was the tar gel stuff because it, the gray... So if you go to the, um, if you look through yeah, the guide, because it was very watery. Mm -hmm. All right, this is going to have to do a bit of resting up. R and R. R R R R. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this other one off here because we kind of need a plate. Oh yeah. 
Now, should I go down and get... I, maybe we should save the, the notes and everything for... Tuesday. For Tuesday or even Thursday. Yeah. Because then we can give it... Because that's more full. of a, a thoughty thing. It is a thoughty thing. Okay. A thought. Uh, th I think this is absolutely wonderful. Look oh, at that. Oh, thank you, Judy. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And here's its buddy. But almost like that one better. Oh, boy, they are friends. Yeah, well, this was the... Mm -hmm. The, the pull. All right, well, moving right along. I'm just loving that. Mm-hmm. Just absolutely loving that. That's going to be great with some... Yeah, we do get... We need to get Heather note up because she got her new plate in her brayer. And she's very excited about okay, that. Okay, Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, let's see here. Let's... Oh. Sandy has... She went through clean chemo last year. She still has her foam head. Oh, yeah, you need to work on her. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you, you have all this time that, you know, you're prepping your papers and everything. But I will tell you, you will have to go ahead and... You have to make more. Yeah. Because you get to a point... Now, I don't. I didn't have to on my green because I had all kinds of stuff going on there with the green. I, I've still got green papers that are never even been torn into over here in my stash of, mm -hmm. you know... If I decide to ever start collaging. Oh, yes. Darcy has a beginner video on her channel. Go check out Darcy's channel. Darcy's Mixed Media. Plus, she's funny. <laughs> we like that she's funny. She's fun and funny. Yes. <laughs> and that doesn't always come in the same package. Judy had one. She painted it silver. She had no idea why. There it sits. And her great niece loved, great niece loved my craft room, but she thought the head in there was a bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, just a silver one might be a little like robotic. Like, is it watching you? I'm, I'm hoping that I, I can pick up some of this on here, but I am getting transfer. <laughs> yeah, we were chuckling about that, Carrie. He says that. Um, the, the, one of the days in Chicago was 105. He has a whole new appreciation yeah. of our Texas heat. Yeah. yeah it was okay. 106 yesterday. I think it's supposed to be 107 today. We went to the pool and it was like bath water, which isn't very refreshing. Like when you're trying to beat the heat and the hot and the pool's equally hot. <laughs> it's. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you have that. If, if the pool could be that when it's like 70 degrees out, it's fantastic. You're well, going to have one or the other. We, when I lived in Alaska. We went to this place called China Hot Springs. And hey, Carla. I mean, it was, this is what Mariah said, it was summertime. But it, it's, it, it doesn't get, it's not hot. But the best time to go to those things is in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Because you've got all this ice and oh, snow all around yeah, you. Yeah, you can breathe the cool air. Breathe the cool air and have the aurora borealis possibility uh, while you're soaking in this super hot. I mean, you can get some places in it that it is just, it, it, it's really yeah, way uncomfortably up. warm. Um, so, sweet lady, hello, welcome. Uh, what is the black tissue paper we use? It's just a regular gift tissue because in I, the I black there isn't anything specialty art like you, wet strength. You don't sort have of thing. a choice. Yeah, so you do have to be careful with it. Does the black run? Yes, and depending on the brand and such, they all have a little bit different coloring. Um, so to what degree do they run? It just depends. Uh, we have not really found one that's you know superior to any other <laughs> no now we might have some people that um here in the chat i think that um you can get black tissue through dick blick yes you can and that we don't have that maybe since you know they are are an artist supply place perhaps that one is what they found to be best or certainly what they sell Congrats, 
Darcy. She's at 800 subbies now. That is awesome. 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 I don't know if Pat, I think the Pat, I think the one that Patty has is the Dick Blick one. I l absolutely love this. I love everything about this. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that should be the, this should be what your head the is. The standard barrier. This one sets the, the tone. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Which is also in her usual color. <laughs> yeah. Happy place. Let's see if we can pull up some of this. I'm getting some. Oh, I'm going to do a little spiel. Okay. For those of you that are new and have come in, um, please do give the thumbsy upsy to the stream. We very much appreciate that. Even if you are on replay, very, it, it is extremely helpful. Please comment below if you're watching the replay. Those of you here in the live, we love it when you come back and leave us comments. Um, we really do enjoy reading them. I read them to pee. Um, you guys ask great questions. That's the place to do it. Fantastic. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring that bell, you will be notified. If you want to get um, other notifications, do come on over to our website. You can sign up for the newsletter there, and we do notify you when we are streaming and give you links to upcoming streams and also product information. Yes. Yes. All kinds of helpful things. Uh, so Patty says she has the black dick blick art tissue and bought some black deli paper. Okay, so see, I'm a little confused about the black deli paper that Patty has in particular. Because to me, it looked more like what we call the black craft paper on a roll. Now, I think yours came in individual sheets, which some of it does, but it seemed like the weight of it was heavier than tissue or deli. Please let me know. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. Yeah, it is extremely hot. She Oh, she moved from Seattle. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, don't go outside. <laughs> I'm just bound and determined I'm going to make it through all of these. And I, I about reached the point where it's going to stop pulling. Did you see it? Yeah, it yeah that, get much your there. stuff's dry there and you just need That's to That's all right. It. We're just keep on going here and I'll pull this with some yellow and maybe a stencil here in a minute. Be awesome. Yeah, you should show, show some of those new stencils. The strippers. I thought you showed all well, of them. Well, you did, but, you know, we've got some new people. It's Sunday. We have a, you know, a little bit different crowd. Well, I have to get through all my papers first. Oh, congrats to that. Fran Fran has hit 700 subbies. Sharon, where are you at? What you doing? Where's your sub account at? Has everybody done what they need to do, or have at least an idea of what they're doing for their patterns at play for our little YouTubers? I'm pretty clueless right now. I'm just kind of making things. I'm making edibles. <laughs> oh, in my favorite color scheme. The yellow and purple. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, and some of your... Darcy's got a few ideas thumbing about. Oh, Sharon's at 410. Congrats on that. That's awesome. That's a beautiful piece of paper. Kathy, uh, totally. Yes, your, your patterns at play I don't can, know. I can may be have just the more papers. Than, I mean, this is getting to be kind of boring. I'm bored with it. You're bored. <laughs> okay. Well, y'all see what happens there, but I don't really know what else I'm going to do here other than make more papers. Well, maybe we could, because we still have like 40 minutes. I could go down and get the notes if you want to go through the beginners of the No, jumper. I don't think I don't we should do start that. that, because I think I would like to really do a super bang up job on it. Okay. And give each each part, part. its okay. due diligence. Yeah, and I think that we should pull together some of that stuff, too, so we can show it as we talk. Yes. Through it. Kind of in our old style video yes. situation. Yes. Now, I'm still going to... Con continue to create some stuff here. 
Um, hey, Carrie, um, that is a very good question. One, one second, P. Sorry. Um, oh, I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm just doing. <laughs> just y'all just carry just on. Watch the art while I chat. Sally People love that. Sally forth and <laughs> right, Fiona. <beyond that. laughs> Um, okay, so how can we help people grow their subby numbers? Here is one of the number one reasons that we do the Makers Creative Collab. It's so that you guys can hop through and as each one of us builds our channel, you get to perhaps then bring your new subbies along on that journey and be able to be exposed to the other collab members. Some of the other ways to really help us all, um, especially in Makers, the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group, those of you, we, we're bringing in a ton of new people. And I'm even relaxing some of the questions and things normally that we would not allow people in. And that's in hopes to build, yeah, I know she didn't like that. She didn't like to hear that. But I, I want more exposure. And so those of you that have channels that do interact on Makers, you know, that's for you guys too. Um, we want you to put your links. Um, any of you guys that aren't are just you know hanging out and, and love watching us, the best ways to to help your favorite YouTubers is to share their content on like your personal page. If there's a video that you're like, oh my gosh, that is amazing, I love it, then share it. And if you are participating in other Facebook groups or even on Instagram. Instagram's a little tricky because of course you can't put the links out there, but you can still talk about us. That's huge to to all of us that are, you know, YouTubers. It it really helps in ways that you just have no idea. Um, so that those are the main ways. And I really appreciate you asking that, Carrie. I need a drink after that. I've been talking a lot. She, she's Frankenstenceling the puzzle. Just one side. Just one side. Just I don't really like that squared off edge there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that like that. And look, I already have a nice edge there. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, see, and just as Michelle says that she's new here to our channel, which we very much appreciate it. Welcome and thank you. Um, but she came over here from Carrie. Because, you know, he talks about us. And we're always so honored and thrilled. And then whenever, um, I, I like it w when any of you guys that are YouTube channels, when you talk about us and let us know, I'm going to make sure that I share that out. We have a playlist for our already friends. We have that on our main part of our channel. So that way, hopefully, anybody that's kind of coming and, you know, checking things out, they'll see our connection with all of you guys. Because it, it takes all of us. Hey, Laura. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, well, now I showed these all last week. Or last week, yesterday, day before yesterday. Some of one of those. And I still have that little corner up there that I might just leave that. I'm going to still leave that. That is something to consider, Susan. So, um, Susan's saying that one thing for Fran and Violet to consider is that they go live on on Wednesdays at the same time that Seth does his thing in Facebook. So, even if you wanted to go before or after him, that would probably be pretty, pretty mucho bueno to help build up your viewership. Yep, he does one every Wednesday. Same exact same time that you guys go. <laughs> now you realize I've also got on here some of that yellow still. The leftover. And you know, I'm probably just creating a big horrible mess here, but oh well. Oh, that's right. So Carrie has um, his latest order, which he picked up in Chicago. Oh, seriously, you sent it to Chicago? Yeah. Remember we talked about that because, like, well, we talked about it, but I didn't know it was a done deal. Oh, it deal. actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos the Seth after has lives. Yes, he does on his Facebook stuff. Be sure to tell him that you heard about it over here. <laughs> He'll enjoy that. He will, I think. He will. Just like if you place an order and you know for any of the tar gel stuff or what what does he call his it's the glazes or 
glazes. Yeah, glazes. You heard it over here. Or the the um, diamond paint. paste. That's glitter the paint. Glitter. Oh, I love that stuff. Yeah, that's the bomb diggity. And I would like to have that in some other colors. I just haven't got around to. I don't know if he has any new colors in that, but the the ones are the yeah the brown the diamond mm -hmm. diamond glitter paste. That might be. Oh, so they've switched it up. Um, and so, yeah, because I, I used to see Ann in there quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this ugh, dry throat. Um, does it once a month at 7 p.m. Eastern and then the fourth Wednesday. <laughs> Seth After, he's a mixed media artist. Okay, that, I think that's kind of interesting. But look at what wonderful stuff we have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is just screaming for some. One that don't go. Let's go. Now, this is probably going to require, a, a, you know, a bit of resting. <laughs> percolating percolating ruminating see how carefully I'm mm -hmm. just I'm I'm not even pushing on that at all I'm just allowing the brayer to because I really kind of hurried that bottom layer as far as the drying time mm -hmm. which is you know it's not a very good thing but uh, he does not have no, a use. This, well, this, I mean, he does, but he doesn't do anything on it. This will dry very quickly. And we will get back to that. Let's see if we can pull this one. Oh, are there really two, two with that name? Hmm. But look at the nice crackly effects we're getting here. Yeah. And those will keep building up until you pull it with some plain paper. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Remember the lightning one? Yeah, that's how that came about. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Love it. Okay, so Sandy wants to know, so after you've retouched with the crepe paws, do you need to seal it with an acrylic medium? Also, do the papers like deli paper or calligraphy paper work? Okay, so what P is doing now by putting them on the gel plate and, and putting layers on top of them, that is sealing it. Yes, that's sealing it. Do it's creating a, a barrier. Right. Do keep in mind, the thicker frittage that's happened there, sometimes it actually sticks back onto the plate or resists the paint. So it will still be not sealed, technically. That's not a huge thing because ultimately what P is going to be doing with them is tearing them up and putting them on the head, which then they get sealed on in the process of collaging them on with the Mod Podge. Yes. Oh, this is getting very thick. Thick. <laughs> it happens. So hopefully that answers most of it. Um, and then deli paper, I would say deli paper is going to be tricky to, to frittage onto directly just because it is kind of slicky anyway. Not to say that I don't think, I mean, I think you have, but more so over gel print, printed, you know, deli paper that has been gel printed. Then she frittages on top of it. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, Devin said that one of her viewers asked if you can use water-based acrylic house paint on the gel plate. She couldn't find an answer anywhere. Anyone know? I, I, know. I don't know why you couldn't, but <clears throat> I'm not going to do it. Now, I will say this isn't house paint, even though it's... It has other properties, and remember, it's <clears throat> meant to dry rather quickly. So, yeah. you do have that. 
And I, I would just, cons you know, it's, it's runny. Yeah, so it's going to be like more pouring. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I would do that. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Isn't that lovely? Okay. <laughs> really. Paula. Paula wants to know if she can look up stuff after in Makers. <laughs> that's funny. Sure the you reason can. that's funny is because I, I don't know. Is he a member of Makers? I don't know. I don't think he's he's I don't think, I don't he, think is. he is. He he wasn't he didn't somebody answer. wants to invite him, you can. He didn't answer the questions. <laughs> questions. And I'm I not know letting that he him even in. knows that well I'm sure he knows that we do, but anyway. He should be. <coughs> he could learn some things. He might. <laughs> Something a little different. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Devin's even rolling on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, I think that there might be some weird additives that may not do thing. I don't know. That, it is a good question. You know, we have some of those little jars of house paint we could perhaps add to impasto. Because you really want it to be more heavy body to work better on the gel plate. Oh, see there, um, Violet says that she used house paint to do paint pours, and that's where, that's where I had to add the flow troll. <laughs> I don't think it's, yes, yeah, Simon Hurley is a different one. He's, he's part of the Ranger design people. And yeah, and he's like barely 20, I would say. Looks like he's in sixth grade. Well, yeah, I mean, because he just graduated high school like two years ago, if that. So yeah, maybe he's barely 20. Hmm. No, well, that's an interesting one. I don't know if I'm in love with it or not, but yeah, that's that's something. <laughs> what? What? I was trying to figure out what Carl was saying, but now I understand. She says, I watched a highlight video. The first thing I heard was, Carla, I think you're, I think you're behind. Because remember whenever we were trying to tell her. <laughs> oh, because I do that all the time. Right. And then, so I guess that was part of the clip. I didn't really even think about that. And she says, my behind was a highlight. <laughs> it is my largest accent. <laughs> Oh, Just think. Funny. I'm sorry, Carla. Rubens, not Modigliani. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm. Okay, we've reached critical mass here, and I, I, I really, I, I, I don't want. I, I'm kind of done with this turquoise business. So, <laughs> it doesn't go with your current. Oh, I tell you, this eyesight thing. We're, we're very excited about getting you new fixed. eyes. Yes. And see what that just did. That's that was that's not a good rubber. As in, you know, the verb, not the Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're just gonna have to Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, Susan's loving on your um on your brayer off today. Ooh, that does look cool though too. Uh, Susan was also saying earlier on in the chat about now that she has started creating more papers and things, you know, the storage of all of that. <laughs> it, I mean, the struggle is real. But this is one of the reasons I highly encourage Pete to cut hers up and then we send little pieces off to you guys in your orders because that just... <laughs> hey, Lizima. So she does. Here. Yeah. Um, okay, we're just going to do something kind of weird and different here. Because they stack up. And there just there isn't enough time in the world to use it all. To use it all. And I'm using up my little pots because what I've noticed is they're kind of getting gummy. Mm hmm They need to get re-up, like because they don't seal like no, a don't. tube would. 
I mean, they I, I do try to get the yeah. dead gum thing on there, but. Yeah, I loved that. I, I was going to comment on that too. Yeah, the face boom. Mm -hmm. That's how it should totally, yeah. <laughs> but what? yes, Facebook. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's funny. Yeah, I think we should all call it face boom from now on. Are you going to be face booming? Meet me on the face boom. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Carla says, yes, if Rubens was alive, she'd be a supermodel. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I think this, this crowd here of, of two for sure. Yeah. Not going to speak for others. Yes, every project creates a new giant pile of leftovers. I have a cabinet full of, and I just started like not keeping Look at it all. Look that! Isn't that gorgeous? It's fantastic. It's gonna be beautiful. I'll have to save that one, right? Aw, you're awesome, Darcy. Darcy said she just asked to join Seth Create. So it's Seth Apter's creative community, and mentioned PM Artist Studio as my answer to the question. Now, we that, sent her we, over there. That's how we spread the word. That's it. Okay, I, I'm just messing around here now because I'm kind of done with doing... I think you all get the idea of what to do with the those things. She's just messing about. I'm just messing about because I'm really bored with that. And I, if I'm bored with it, I'm assuming that other people are bored with it. That goes with my shirt. Um, thank you, Judy Peach. She just She's one of our mods. And thank you to all of our mods that you know help us and take care of us. But she just dropped in the link to our website where you can shop for these stencils that Pete, well, most of them, not all of them. And if she has Franken stenciled them, we try to add them to the shop. But, you know, see, like this one, she cut off the straight edge. You're welcome to do that to yours. You certainly are. And if you want your tiny, tiny bits, you need to request them. And we will do our best. We cannot guarantee that we will be able to include them because they don't always come off the mat. And we do try to ship like lightning. <laughs> we had a little slow up there, you know, between coming back from vacation and then a big burst of orders. But we are all caught up at this point in time. So that's fantastic. <laughs> He's a handsome fellow. <laughs> Seth after. I, I think he looks like, um, who's the actor, the, the one, um, he's, he's Tolchi. Uh, is it Tolchi? I have no idea who you're talking about. Nah, I know you don't. Oh, Patty stores her, her prints by warm colors, cool, co cool colors, and neutrals. We tried to. Um, yeah, that was a whip. And then there, like, she would yell at me because I would sort them because I'm better at that sort of thing. But then all of a sudden she'd get back involved in it. And then, you know, what do you do about the two-sided ones? Because she does that. <laughs> and never are they the or same. What, and they're never just one color. No. So you just go with the predominant color and then you go, yeah, but, oh, now why did I put that in there? Look, at it. it's got all that blue on it. I could have used that. Mm -hmm. So I just, she just has stacks. It's more like archaeological time, chronological. <laughs> it's with the Mesozoic period or something like that or whatever. <laughs> I made her go through some boxes the other day. She did. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like it. She gets cranky. So that's fine. Oh, Brad's back. Hey, Brad. And then I just end up hello, putting them back in exactly the same Stanley place. Stanley Tucci. Sorry. Yes. Who? Stanley Tucci, and he's a real. I really like him as an actor. I think he's. I don't even know who that is. No, you you would if you saw him. I would. Mhm. Mm oh, IKEA Alex drawers. Well, we need the space for the drawers. I'm telling you, Patty, the struggle is real around here. Yes. And we have all this, you know, up behind us. You know, I could show you one of these days. We'll do a studio tour. One of these days. That's fantastic. Now see if I put the, the thing over this and mask it and go over it with like purple. <clears throat> How awesome will that be? If you order from Jerry's Artorama, they sent they have really great boxes. They tend to work really nice to store the prints in. For the bigger ones, like the nine by twelves and stuff. 
Right, P? What? The Jerry's Art Arama box came in handy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it's got a flip top. Now, I don't, we got to figure out how to get rid of those inside things. I told they're you They're really just getting on my very okay, last note. I wasn't going to cut them out and then you just yell at me about it. So, I'm glad that you came to that conclusion on your own. Yeah, I... It really mussed me up last night when I was throwing papers over in it because they all went kind of like this. It wasn't working for me at all. I was getting very... Oh, here's... He, he played the creepy guy in, in The Lovely Bones. I had to think of the murder movie for P's reference. Lovely Bones? Mm. I did not know that. Mm. But I, 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 I'm sure that, you know, if it had something to do with whatever, I would like it. I just wanted to get a little metallic in here, you know, n never a day goes by that you should ignore your metallics. True that. Keep it shiny, y'all. <laughs> Keep it shiny. <laughs> oh, man, that's cool. Oh, Look I think at that, that brayer off. That was a really good choice. The, the um, Stompy Rocks 5x7 has a very animal printy. But see, that was that same pattern. Mm -hmm. Just squished you know, together, but made different and then, sizes. And then I make a, another pattern from it. Okay, we're going to allow that to rest and relax. Does this, maybe this could count. Does this count as our patterns at play? <laughs> Is play, that kind of... play with the patterns. <laughs> play with the patterns. Oh, he played Julia Child's husband in Julia and Julia. Husband in huh. Julia and Julia. <laughs> I, I don't know that one either. I mean, Julie and Ju Julie and Julia. <laughs> okay. She won't know that one. Dance with me. No. If it doesn't have murder in the title, I'm not interested. And I hate that's so not true. I she, hate she funny really, movies. I really hate funny movies. That is also not true. She just doesn't like to admit it. And let me tell you, this one over here loves, loves some cartoon business with her baby. That's <laughs> and she different. gets really mad. I like Hilda <laughs> a lot. <laughs> because what was it? Even the Barbie movie, you were like, I'm gonna watch it to the end. <laughs> I've got to watch the ending. I've watched the middle fourteen times. <laughs> I'm going to see, finally see if Barbie finally gets rid of Ken or, you know, some BS like that. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, he was in, he was the presenter in the Hunger Games. Oh. Yeah, the, you know, like the TV personality guy. Yeah, see, she doesn't know that. We might hit something here in a minute, y'all. Hey, I, I know the Hunger Games. Okay, well, he was the, the guy that would talk on the microphone and the TV presenter guy. I don't, I don't remember he that part. Remember. He, he didn't impress me, obviously. I wasn't killing anything. Um, okay, how many, gel, how many gel plates do you have? Uh, Lizima, she has ten, right? I think so. I think so. Oh, he was um, in a TV show, Murder One, from 1995. Murder One? Oh, she's like, oh. She might look is, it up. Is it a show or yeah, it's is a TV it a movie? Show. TV show. TV show. Murder One. Mm hmm. From 1995. Oh, I don't care about that. Well, she's just giving you that so you like know that you're in the right place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm running. Right now, I'm watching a. Um, MI5. Oh, uh, so the, okay, the Alex drawers are awesome. Not very heavy storage like ink bottles. Bottom of the drawers will warp and end up closing until Dave takes them apart and repairs them. Okay, well, if you don't have a Dave, those may not be the drawers for you or just keep it light, I think is what I <laughs> saying. We have a problem with that sort of thing around here, too. I'm just having a good time here. I hope y'all are too. I, I I'm think everybody's just playing happy. with, playing with my some of my very favorite. Those are stencils. Cape Rocks, and that comes in a five set. Here, I'll put that link in the. See if Mo was here, she would already had it up. She's quick. She's she's like the fastest link puller in the West, or in the UK. <laughs> 
she has spoiled me. Um, let's see. Oops, there we go. I always like to just throw some weird color out there, you know, because I can. Because you can. And it's always, you, you can never go wrong with this mixture <laughs> right here. It gets in the cracks and crevices, you know. Hey, Maxine. How it, see, there's Maxine. How's the ankle? Oh, they love watching you play on the gel plate. So there you go. Ooh, that was some... Hello darkness. Hello darkness, my old friend. You have come to me again. Yana yana. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I almost screwed it up. I've got to get this off because I think this is going to be. This is going to be. Oh, um, Susan's enjoying the old man with Jeff Bridges. What's that on? What network or, you know. I like whatever. him. I love Jeff Bridges. Buried in the backyard on Peacock. You don't have, do you have Peacock? I don't have Peacock. It's been mentioned a few times now. I love, she doesn't, I told her that she needed, she had things to do. And she needed oh, she to got so snotty with me yesterday. Look at that, folks. Is that not some absolutely hummer dinger? So that's the glowy business, the the halo thing. Yes, you must brayer over your stencil very firmly. firmly, and then it pushes it out. Oh, Kathy says thank you for the Longmire recommendation. Oh, I love Longmire. Yes, I really liked that. Murdoch is another one. That's from Canada and has tons of episodes. He's <clears throat> really, he's really cute. There we go. Nice. Side by side. So the main pull with the paint heavily applied over stencils, then lifted. Pull mm -hmm. that. Then that's the next ghost print and afterwards. And then we've got some other, you know, some remnants. mucky muck stuff. Mucky muck. To, some mucky muck stuff to work with here. Oh, they love, yeah, they, yeah. We, we got lovers of Longmire and Murdoch. And we've got this little Hummer here, which I should save, save that till I've got my bigger plate. Because I, I really, I, I think I can do justice to and that. And Susan says, a good wood baron will help achieve those, those halos. Because that was the other, so you placed it down and really get the pressure on it. Because that, it pushes the paint away, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yet still keeps that shape. Is the dealio. Is the dealio. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. And I'm still getting a little bit of <laughs> oh, yeah, mileage out of my. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, ooh. Kind of shadow technique a little bit. How cool is that? Very nice. That is achieved mostly once you have paint kind of built up on your stencil. Not to say that it can't happen, but it more. Yeah, it was still a little bit wet. Yeah. Oh, Sharon has a 3D printer now. We've been talking about one of those. Got ideas about that too, but see, look at that. That's it, now that's going to go with your other stuff, perhaps. Yes, perhaps. I mean, you don't know. You don't know till you know. <laughs> I like that combo. <laughs> Carla says her first husband looked like Bo Bridges or Barney Rubble, depending on your point of view. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. Carla's bringing the funnies today. I like it. It depends on whether it was a profile or a straight on. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't even watch that movie, Stitching Art, because, yeah, I knew that. If I watch the preview or the trailer and it already has me crying, I'm like, oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Why do I need two hours of that? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm just into gratuitous violence. Okay, this is fluid acrylic in turquoise phthalo. When, when do this, I call the skeleton. Oh, when you do this, she calls it the skeletons of the stencil. Oh, that's a good, I, I like that idea. Uh, that's a good the description. What, what are we talking about? I, I think the halo-y, kind of the, when it's the oh, outline, so it looks oh, oh, oh. kind of like the, um, more like an x-ray skeleton. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Gayla. Gayla. Oh, Queen P and Empress M. I love that. I do love that. I was the Empress of Evil once for Halloween. That's one of my favorites. I made the most awesome. Remember that crown? It didn't last very long because it was that meshy metal stuff, but I had lights on it and everything. No, I don't remember yeah, that. Empress no, of Evil. I was still in Priyana, I think. Yes, you were. Just teaching, earning a living. Oh, I cry at both. If I'm too happy, too sad, too mad, actually. She you know, really at the commercials. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I mean. Okay, now here's another little technique. Before I pull any of that up, I'm going to grab my favorite color here. Why is your thing making that noise? Is there oh, it's something? clicking on something there. I don't yeah. know. Okay. But it hasn't fallen off, so I'm well, not. Well, that's good. <laughs> Frances, her husband looks like Harvey Keitel sometimes. I don't know who that is. Who's that? Uh, Harvey Keitel is... Oh, help us out, guys. Oh, she was traumatized for weeks. I'm sorry. Stitchy heart. <sighs> She's a oh, Heather's a hysterical laugher. Like, does it get awkward? <laughs> Sometimes some people laugh and it's like, okay, it's awkward. <laughs> there we go. Look at that beautifulness. Patty says it looks like Dave Parrish. I don't know who that is either. I mean, I probably would if you give me a reference, but. I think it's her husband. <laughs> well, oh, is that his? It, uh, Parrish. Oh. <laughs> Look, she got it and I did That's hilarious. Now, I don't you think that I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for you to stop doing all the okay. yaya over there and talk about my print that I just pulled here. That is most fantastic. I love that you're, you're doing the first and second next to each other, I find that. That's very edifying. Edifying. She'll continue in that vein. Yes, give some love in the chat for the poor lady over here. I, I, I'm telling you what. She's working hard. I'm, I'm working hard and I, 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 I need. Thumbsy upsies if you have it. Need some love, need some love. <laughs> love the blues and greens, lovely Pete, LOL. <laughs> blue, green, blue, green, blue, green hearts. Oh yeah, she 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 gets me straight. <laughs> oh, Harvey was in the Pulp Fiction and the Piano. Hmm. Yeah, Harvey Keitel. Oh. I, I I'm I'm not hmm. I'm, that that piano one. I, I can do that one. It was. Oh. I I think I watched like the first part of that movie, and then I'm like, now nah, that's gonna be a. Yeah, oh, I can, I, you know, I, I've already seen the <laughs> telegraphs there. If I can figure it out, I'm done. I don't even watch, <laughs> hey, Linda. I don't even watch murder shows that show you who did it at the beginning. I, I don't like those. Those of you that are coming in, please do say hello. We love to say hello to you in the chat, and we don't know that you are here unless you do do that. Um... If you want to just hang out and you are enjoying it, thumbsy upsies, we very much appreciate those. Like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube business. We very much appreciate that as well. Tambien. Tambien. Okay, we're going to try a little bit different blue here. The reason I like this smushy, these, this really loosey goosey ones, is because they go down in the cracks really well. Loosey you know? goosey gets in the cracks. Lucy Goosey gets into the cracks and gives you that nice halo effect. 
and this is oh I, I, I'm anticipating that this is going to be you better not leave yet you will be sorry <laughs> don't leave yet <laughs> don't leave yet it ain't over till it's over <laughs> we'll let you know maybe sometimes I want to just turn it off this is like okay hey we had breakfast this morning though so we're, we're doing pretty good Worried it was drying on me. I think I got it. I think I got it in time. That's the that's the tricky part with the Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goosey Lucy dries very fasty, Goosey. fasty. business right there that is some awesome business right there okay good little job plate <laughs> okay these I think are really pretty too I would have liked a little more definition on this one but you know hey you just take what you can get what time is it uh, you got four minutes time for one more oh no we're getting married up here oh, things are getting sticky and have you flopped any stencils over that away? Uh, no, you've been pretty good. You got them at the top there. I kind of, you know, got them. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie stuck around. He says, I didn't leave. Not disappointed. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> good man. Good man. All right. All right. Now, we've got some goopy stuff on here, and I am hoping I can get it off. I can get it off. It's going to be good. <laughs> It says, listen, Goosey drives fasty, nasty in the cracks. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> yes. I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed, we're going to get some nice <laughs> residuals on the actual stencil. Ooh, yeah. Because part of that's what's happening, too, is it's kind of releasing the paint off of the stencil. Yes, exactly. So if you don't have the paint built up on your stencils, you're not going to get this, these same types of uh, mold. Uh, is it mold? Uh, what am I trying to say? Marbled, almost. Marbling. 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 There we go. Brain working. Yay. Now technically, these are not strippers. This is the Cape Rocks. These were, you know, before we did the little skinny strippers. These are our chunky little rock babies. <laughs> I'll put that link in again. I have, I still have it up. I'm pushing really hard because I want it to take off the paint from the, mm -hmm. oh, it's going to do it. It is oh. so. Hold down, hold down, P. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, look at that. And you can buy this set either like all of them or even just one or two of them. We, we have it that way. Look at this. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. So you got to build up the paint on them. Keep them going. Keep them going. And then. Okay, let's put down some more. <laughs> Heck yeah, why not? Yeah, I say keep it going because you need these papers. Because this is all in your color scheme, I think. Of where the new head's going. I, I you know, I, I don't know until I start yeah, putting, putting it down. on there. Now remember again, these are fluid. Oh, lots these of are, hearts. <laughs> these are not um what do I want? <laughs> Dang papers attacking me. Scares her every time. <laughs> I, I would love to see you though do like kind of a karate move on it sometime. <laughs> I'm going to work on her. She needs to. <laughs> Remember, you do need to use a bit of pressure because you want to, to really bond with your paper. And then when you start lifting it up, you want to grab a hold and make sure your stencil is going to stay. We're not getting very much, but some. 
Ooh. Well, and I think what's cool is kind of each layer that you do there, like you're kind of creating a new main color. Then you come in, this next pole is going to add a little more interest. Second color. Oh, G Gala is yelling and whistling in approval. We heard it. We Thank heard it. You. I don't know. I may have just lost it there. Dagnabbit. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what's the rusty color of paint? That is the quinacridone nickel azo gold, right? Yes. 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 Which I don't really understand the gold thing because they really they should have just called it like nickel azo rust, but you know we're not in charge of these things. I kind of overlapped here, but I don't know that it's going to be a real deal breaker. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Hold down. Hold down. It's kind of yeah, nice yeah. that they hang off there. It, it really is because you can kind of get a hold of them. And not put prints into, or fingerprints into your prints. Well, that's a little bit alligator -y, but Yeah, a little bit. That wasn't the direction I was thinking it was going to go. Uh, well, we're, we'll, we'll just change, uh, change, uh, it's because you use that teal, which has a lot of yellowy, um... It does. It, it surprisingly leans more green. Now, this is semi-transparent, and I'm hoping that we can get a nice brownie thing going here. Neutralize that green. Neutralize our green. I doubt that you can, Susan. What? Because even at Michael's, they don't... The, the coupons don't apply to cricket machines and such or silhouettes or any of the machines. Oh my gosh. I am out of <gasps> Oh no, Shall I? Where where is it? Oh it's, it's right here. But you need a cut, don't you? Well you can just give me big ones and I'll just swap them. I mean okay. but we're almost done here anyway. Are you doing any more? Yeah I'm done. Okay. You're done. She's done. But boy did we go through the paper today. Yeah. But I love these strippers. I mean, if you're going to get a stencil and you want a lot of, because look at this. Ooh. I just think that one's like my PA theory. This yeah, we boss. should stop on that. Yeah, we should. <laughs> this but now this too. is kind of good too. That is some good skeleton business there. Oof. Halo Just bubbling. Glowing. <laughs> glowing. <laughs> glowing. Glowing. And I have this marvelous stuff on here. Which I'm going to let this dry. And then I will pull it with my Titan buff give you just a little preview of what that's going to be like. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Boy, it went fast today. Yes, it did. And I have a... <clears throat> oh, and P Patty says another P technique to figure it out. Well, grab those stencils that have some built-up stuff on it, because I think right out of the gate that will put you in a more successful... It it will look at look at how this is building up on here. Mm -hmm. And then as it builds up and is still sticky, it grabs the paint better, but also then gives you that point of release. And see, if I if I use this a lot now, even so, even even after it gets dry, it's it's going to soften it up, and you will pull up more off of that stencil. Now you can't always predict when that's going to happen. Right. So, you know, there's that. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because weather, planetary alignment, you know, good yeah. behavior. Gel plate gods. Gel plate gods, those sort of things all play into it. Okay, well here, let's pull this, pull this before we go. Oh yeah, nice. Any others sitting over there? Yeah, I got one more. Okay. 
stick around for the, you know, the final polls. <laughs> final, final. The final finals. <laughs> yes, if you have good karma. <laughs> I try to, I try to do that. Now, isn't this just, I mean, I think this is just absolutely wonderful. Look at that little, see that little thing whooping around underneath there? Yeah. Uh, why, what type of paper? So a majority of those larger sheets, and well, actually everything. This is, um, yeah. That's Paycon. Paycon. But most of the ones that she was using earlier are the wet strength carnival tissue paper. Or carnival wet strength tissue. And I... I because she's going to be collaging with it. Yeah. I, I, I need for PM Artist Studio to please order me some more Lucas Krill Pastos. Pastos? Beige. Okay, where did you get that before? Was it Jerry's? I don't know. Okay. I do not know that, but I'm telling you what. When you mix that together with my little mixture that I got going here, it is the best in the world pulling stuff up. Last one. Ooh, this is going to be Last good. Last one. Too. I love it when you leave on a good note. I do too. Yes, and thank you, Violet. We will do that. That was a good call. Pardon? Oh, that's pretty. Well done. Now, that won't necessarily be used for the collage. You could no. use it on the base, though, on the flatter parts. Oh, well, I could, but I, I really don't want to because I want that to suck in there and, and go in the... Mm -hmm. Because remember, I'm using my texture paste. And if you're using stiff paper... You need to use it on a very yeah. um, flat. Flat business. Flat business. All right. So here we are. This is what they call the end, as Shannon Green says. We always think that that is so funny. You are at the end. Um, so if you haven't, please do give the thumbsy upsies. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell. That's all that YouTube -y stuff that helps us very much. If you are interested in hanging out with us anytime other than, you know, you know, just during the week and when we're not streaming, and also see the lovely work and all of the things that you can learn. That is in the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. You can find all that information in the description area down below. Or if you are watching the chat, those links have been dropped in here and there. Other ways to support us and also get discounts on our stencils, you can do that by joining the Artie Perks. Those links are also down below or in the chat. Once again, thank you guys so much. We will see you on Tuesday. We're going to get experimenty. I don't know exactly how, but we have plans. Right, P? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. Absolutely. Have a lovely rest of the day. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>